Hello, this is Katja Becker from Hilcher Technical Support Team. In this video, I will show you how you can connect two civics cards via Profibus. The following master and slave procedures can also be adapted if one of the devices isn't a civics card. Upon first installing the civics card, the system LED on the cards will alternate between yellow and green. Both cards are now connected with a Profibus cable. Since both cards are installed in the same PC, we can configure them both in one Psycon.net project for convenience. Let's begin by commissioning the Profibus slave. We choose the standalone slave because we want to configure the real hardware installed on the PC. We take the slave named version 2.10 because we are going to load the current firmware with its version 2.11 onto the civics card. Next we open the configuration window. First we do the device assignment. Then we load the proper firmware to the civics. You can either locate the firmware on the current communication solutions DVD or you download it separately from our knowledge base. After downloading the firmware, we have to do the device assignment again, because the civics card now has a channel protocol. Now we can configure the slave as we need it. In the general configuration, we can configure its station address. Let's configure some input and output modules. For example, two bytes input and 8 byte output. We now have to download the configuration onto the civics card. The slave is now prepared. We will now configure the master. First we drag and drop it onto the grey bus line. Now we do the same first steps as with the slave. We do the device assignment and then download the fitting firmware. We now have two options to proceed. Let's start with a bus scan. We first download an empty configuration to the civics. This has the effect that the bus communication is possible. We now choose network scan. The network scan has properly detected the civics card. We can see the correct station address and device type ID. If there are several GSD files for the same device, the Canon DTM device will be yellow, indicating we have to choose the correct version of the GSD file. After doing so, we create the device. Let us double check the configuration.
that's correct. Therefore, we can now download the configured network to the master. Next, we check the diagnosis. Everything's working fine. If there were to be an error, you could first check the station diagnosis to determine the specific slave. We can then take a look at the diagnosis of the particular slave to further investigate the issue. A link to a more detailed troubleshooting guide can be found below. Please visit our support space, support.hilcher.com, to find more commissioning examples, application notes and more helpful stuff. Thank you for watching.